Hey, so this is pretty amazing. Um, this is Crystal from the Feisty House, aka Coos, um, and this is our very first video. We don't have anything to talk about, but um, <laughs> we figured we'd at least say hi. We're snowed in. It's that cabin fever. So, hey, it's Jaina, <laughs> aka J Charisma. I'm sorry, am I in the way? Am I? Am I shining? Is my spotlight on? Hey! Guys. hey. <laughs> um, we're really excited about this new venture for the blog. Um, I'm really just talking right now. Partly because I'm trying to get comfortable with the idea of talking into my digital camera. And um, partly because, like I said, we don't have anywhere to go. So we have no clothes to put on and show you. We have no hair to do. <laughs> um, we're about to be in this house until maybe Monday. Monday? Don't speak like that. You're right, I won't Maybe say that. Sunday Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> right, hopefully tomorrow Maybe the roads will be clear. Um, and we'll be able to go to like a swirl party or something. Um, but I figured while I had your attention for the moment, I would just explain how much I dislike straight hair. I mean, I don't hate straight hair. I really don't. But um, I get really tired of it really, really quickly because Everything looks so much better on curly hair. Updos and ponytails and all of that fun stuff. Like, just looks better. When I make an updo in my straight hair, it looks very dumb and flat. So, I am actually going to curl for my hair um, this weekend. It's Valentine's Day, yay. And I figured I would go curly for a special occasion. So, I'm not gonna wet my hair or anything like that. I'm just gonna put it into this straight hair. And we'll see if the curl actually holds. This is like an experiment because I've never done curl formers on my straight hair ever. This is the size I'm using, the long and wide. They're pink and orangey yellow. And um, let's see if it works. So this is what I usually do to my hair, um, or what I usually did to my hair before I discovered the pin curl braid out and then just ended up doing that all the time. But usually I would curl for my hair. You just kind of, and I don't even have to use that much hair anymore because it's straight. But you just um, twist your hair at the root, slide the curl form over the hook. Hey, Jenna. Hey. Hook your hair into the, um, the hook there. Can you see? Hook your hair in that. Slide your hair through. And um, that's what it's going to look like in your head. I'm actually... And this is so exciting, getting to the point where the long and wide are going to get to be too short, which is amazing, because I remember when my hair was like, stopped right here in the curl form, and now it's like almost to the end. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like almost all the way to the end there. So soon I'm going to have to buy, like just buy a whole new set, and buy the extra long and wide. But um, for now, these are okay. And um, so that's what it looks like in your hair. I'm just going to go through. I'll do another one. Um, you can see that they curl in different directions. If you've never dealt with curl formers before, there's something really interesting um, that you should keep in mind. So the pink ones curl. You can see it's flat here, so the curl is going to go like that. So it's going to frame away from my face. So I'll use the other color on this side so it'll also frame away from my face. So I usually put um, in the front of my hair, pink on one side and the yellow on the other. In the back, I don't care. So let's see. Twist it, hook it. You can see there. Twist it, hook it. Pull your hair through. See? So now the curls will frame away from my face like that. Um, and I will just do it on both sides. I don't know if I'm going to actually continue because this is really easy and I feel like I'll be done with my hair really soon. Um, just to see like what it'll look like this way. Thanksgiving, I mean Valentine's Day weekend, I'm not blown if my hair doesn't come out looking cute. Um, so this might actually be some good practice. So I'll do, I should probably part this down, um, but I don't have my comb so I'll just go down here. So we'll try, I'll just do this one and I'll decide later if I'll continue or not. Um, 
I don't have anything else to do. So I really could just sit here and put curl formers in my hair and call it a night because I really can't walk outside the house. Um, I think we have about 30 inches in the DMV right now. Hold on, let me, let me verify that information. 30 inches? Well, that's what we're supposed to have at the end of it, so probably 30 right now. Okay, because it's not slowing anymore. It's not slowing anymore. Right, so about 30 inches. It should have been the uh, grand sum total of today and last night's um, snowing. Snow stopped about two hours ago, maybe now. So um, there are people outside, I guess, looking around at the damages. Um, it doesn't seem too bad here. I can't find my car. My car is white, and I don't remember where I parked it, so I really can't find it. Um, and the snow has really covered a lot of people's cars, so tomorrow that will be fun. Um, but that's curl formers. That was really easy, actually. It's so much easier, like, on straight hair. But I don't know. I doubt my hair has, like, taken the curl yet. We'll just see. Yeah, it hasn't taken the curl yet. Um, when my hair is in its kinkier state, it takes the curl almost immediately, just because there's also aloe vera gel in it, which is amazing. Um, and really uh, keeps my hair curled without feeling stiff or hard and without flaking, which is brilliant. Um, and usually when I have curl formers in my hair, I moisturize it with um, Elastic QP Mango Butter Moisturizer. Let me show you. So this is what I would normally use to moisturize my hair. There you go. When it's in curl formers. I'll probably just do the coconut oil because my hair is straight. We'll see. I'm not planning on straightening it out anymore, so I could probably use this. Um, the reason why I wouldn't use this on my straight hair is because it does have water in it, and it will slightly revert my hair. Um, not enough to make it really, really kinky, but just enough to get it kind of like puffy. So anyway, that's uh, basically what I'll be up to. And um, glad that you guys could join us for a little bit. And you got to talk to us very briefly. And I'll try to get Jane out here to say goodnight. Jane, do you want to say goodnight to the Feisties? Yeah, sure. Yay. <laughs> Hey, oh my gosh, it's Jana. Good night. Good night. Stay blessed. Stay Aww. feisty and beautiful. Oh, isn't she the sweetest? So take her advice and stay feisty and beautiful and be blessed. And we will see you very, very soon. I think this is going to be fun. What do you guys think? I think it's going to be fun. You guys should be shaking your heads. Yes. Okay.